show windows, doing a lot of which we saw back in the springtime when these droves, organized droves, went all over the place. You remember, we had stacks of bricks just waiting for them on the corner strategically, so we could get dropped off for them. Yeah, this whole thing, part of a big sham, staged in a big operation, that's for sure. Not, let's not forget that some 34 out of 37 cities that we had had a Federal Reserve Central Bank in the city, right down the street from where all the chaos happened. Do you know that this has a name? It's called Disaster Capitalism. And it's very important that people understand what's going on with that. I've been talking about that and going to break it down further on these live streams, but take a look at the damage done here. One regular shop, they decided, oh, we're going to smash them up. Chase Bank, going to smash them up as well. What else we got here? Starbucks, ransacked, on fire. So, this is what they decided to come out and do last night. Once again, it's destroying small businesses. This isn't taking issues to the government or his mansion or the senators or anyone else. This isn't calling for talks or anything like that to try to resolve anything. It's just organized chaos. And that's what we're seeing over and over again in these areas. So, this time, apparently, they're saying that they tried to firebomb police and all this other stuff, as you can see here in this clip. But it continues. I'm going to break this down further. Go over some of the details of this, the organization of this, on the next live stream. So, make sure to join me over on D-Live. Also, make sure to follow me on Parlor and hit that subscribe button here on YouTube. A lot of people. All praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yasha, Bashim Rakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS groups and ones alike, teaching them, the son true, shall go and brought them to them. For the edification and knowledge, and the foremost, give all praise again to Yahweh, Bashim Yasha, Bashim Rakadash. This relates to Dabu 7 Portland police responding to uh, protesters, um, to unrest in Portland, and hurl firebombs during the uh, New Year's Eve celebrations. And quickly, um, order, uh, order out chaos, order out the chaos, or pretty much what he said, organized chaos. You know, I mean, also agent provocateurs, because uh, relating to protests earlier in this year, part of this year, different things. This has that the hallmark and trademark for that. Let me get some scriptures. <clears throat> Apostles answered that answer said we ought to obey God rather than men. So pretty much the obedience related to this truth and knowledge, man. You know? And that's who we ought to obey to. Um, not um, um not the pre not the ways of men, but of God, man. This relates to obedience, spiritual obedience. Um I wanna go to um, Romans 13, 1 through 7. Let every soul be subject to and to the higher powers, for there is no power but of, of Yahweh, the power that be, be are ordained of God. And Shalakia. I'm going to read it again. This number one, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of Yahweh, the powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of Yahweh, and they that resi resist shall receive themselves damnation. Three, for the rules are are not a terror to good, good works, but to but to the evil. 
will thou then not be afraid of the power do that which is good and thou shalt have praise of the same for he is the minister of Yahweh God to there for for good but if thou do that which is evil be afraid for ye for he beareth not the sword in vain for he is the minister of Yahweh a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Five. Wherefore ye must wherefore ye must needs be subject not only for wrath but also for the conscious sake. For 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 this cause pay ye tribute also. For they are God Yahweh's ministers attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due. Now the scriptures render to see was um, due to Caesar and was due to Yahweh rendered to him. You know, uh, render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Number eight. Owe no man anything but to love one another, for he he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. And that's part of what? Love thy brother, man. Love thy neighbor. That's our brother, man. That's an important part of the law. Um, for this thou shalt not commit adultery, and thou shalt not kill, and thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Um, and thou shalt not covet and, and if there be any other commandments is briefly comprehended in, in saying namely thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself and thy neighbor represents your brother man that's your brother now relating to pretty much res uh, respecting the orders and authorities and powers to be you know what I mean now ultimately the Lord ordained powers for us to be subjected to man but all is ordained of Yahweh, so we respecting that, we respecting the Yahweh ultimately. But there's limitations to that. For example, the mark of the beast. That would be contrary. If you take that, that would be contrary to uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yosha. Because the Lord's laws really super supersede man's laws. There's a balance to that. That relates to obeying authorities and government, etc. Uh, I want to go to. Uh, I want to go to James 4 and 17. This is James 4 and 17. James 4 and 17 talks about, Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin, man. So, if you know to do good, but you, cho but you choose not to or don't do it, that's sin. You know what I mean? So, for the wages of, uh, for the wages of death, um, um, for the wages of death ultimately lead to uh, for the wages of sin ultimately leads to death man so it all begins the desire to do certain things man in this case um, knowing to um, what you're supposed to do but don't do it man so that leads to the path to sin man um, I want to go to um, Sirach 7 1 and 3 Sirach 7 1 and 3 Do no evil, so so shall no harm come unto thee. Depart from the unjust, which is the wicked, and iniquity shall turn away from thee. My son, sow not upon the pharaohs of the unrighteous, and thou shalt not reap them sevenfold. So stay clear from that. Stay clear from the unrighteous. Stay clear from things that was going to ultimately lead you and, um, um, to sin or an iniquity, man. Because ultimately it's going to be your downfall. Do no evil. So, so shall no harm come unto thee, man. And this is, for example, this doing the rioting and unrest, that's evil, man. That's unrest, civil unrest. That's contrary, man. So that's doing evil. And there's consequences to that, man. I 
going to get um, one more. Oh, yeah, second asterisk. Um, this is second asterisk 15, 14 through 19. Second answer is 15, 14 through 19. <clears throat> the second answer is 15, 14 through 19. Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and the swords in their hands. That relates, 14 relates to a warning for destruction. 14 relates to pretty much civil unrest, man. Um, number 16, where well, there shall be sedition among men invading one another, they shall not regard their kings and princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. That's sedition, mutiny, insurrection. That's what's happening. In various cities such as Portland, Washington State, New York, Chicago, Philadelphia, and various other cities, man, a lot of unrest has been happening. Looting, riot, breaking in stores and different things. You know what I mean? Um, that's the, we, we in that spirit of uh, pretty much division, man. Number 17, a man shall desire to go in the city and shall not be able to martial law. Stay at home orders, curfews, um, um, lockdowns, man. We in the precursors of that, you know. Because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid relating to the state and condition. You know, I mean, the cities are in trouble, man. You know, you got civil unrest, lockdowns, the houses shall be destroyed, home invasion, um, businesses, personal houses, you know, public and private sectors. Um, men shall be afraid because of, of the state and condition of society what is becoming or what is becoming. Um, 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Home invasion, looting, rioting, breaking and enter, and spoil their goods. Let me read that again. Number 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, using violence, man, guns, knives, weaponry, man, because they are in a desperate state of mind. Desperate, de desperate state of mind in a, in, a, in a certain mind state. Man, so they, um, people are antsy, they're irritated, they're frustrated. So they're doing foolish, crazy things, man. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of a lack of bread, famine, a lack of wanting things, man. They need, they need things. They're desperate, and desperate, desperate, desperate state of mind, desperate state of mind. So limited supplies, high demand, but limited supplies. So they're desperate. So they're gonna do breaking and entering. If they think, for example, a neighbor that they're friendly with or not so friendly with, they think they have something, they're gonna break into it, man. That's the kind of times we we're gonna be heading into, man. And for great tribulation, because we in times of um, we in perilous times, man. We're talking about. Um, um, Second Timothy, so we'll get it. I'll just get read the first verse. Second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, and that's what it is. We in perilous times, man. Civil unrest, um, looting, rioting. Um, Tensions, even racial tensions, civil unrest, insurrection, violent uprising, um, people not regarding authorities. <clears throat> so, um, natural disasters, unnatural disasters, a lot of famine, uh, famine, precursors of famine. Um, we have an, um, um, fearful sightings, chariots, that they call UFOs. We have a uh, strange. Uh, phenomenons with relating to different things happening in different parts of the world. Earthquakes, a lot of earthquakes, volcano, uh, volcanic, uh, volcano eruptions. Um, the coronavirus, um, the COVID virus cases, talking about America, uh, America's up to 20 million. Second is um, India with 10. Third is um, Brazil. So a lot of things is going on relating to, um, then you have a, a L strain line, 
a second um, L string line coming up. So, and so it's building up for the tension of uh, different things happening because we in the times of prophecy. That being said, um, give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yosha, the water for listening. Give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yosha, Bashim Rakadash, the water. Shalom. Mm.